Welcome back. Here it is, as promised, my meatloaf. Uh, glazed with a nice tomato glazing. Uh, it's a really nice, low cost, but really nice meal for the family. So let's get stuck straight in. So the first thing I want to do is to start on the glazing and get that ready. So in here, I've got some brown sugar. I've got some tomato ketchup. I've got some Worcester sauce and I've got some English mustard. I'll put all the ingredients in the recipe um, in the description below the video, so watch out for that. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to tip the tomato sauce in with the brown sugar. Let's get that in there. Okay. Then I want to tip in the Worcester sauce. Tip that in there. And then I want a half a teaspoon of English mustard. Okay, put that in there. <coughs> you need to give that a really good mixing up. So I'll give that a good old mix. And this is the glazing for on top of the meatloaf. Okay. So that now can go in the fridge and then we'll start on the meatloaf. Mm. In the fridge it goes. And now we'll start on the meatloaf. Okay, so let's get on with making the um, meatloaf itself. So you need a large mixing bowl, put that to one side. And the first thing you want to do is to mix these three ingredients here, which is one egg, um, milk, and Worcester sauce. So let's crack the egg into the dish. Okay. And then tip in the milk. And then tip in the Worcester sauce. So that's your first step. Then get a fork and beat them up. Get a good mixing up. Okay. Give that a really good mixing up. So everything's all well combined. Okay, so that's that step done. So the next thing you want to do is uh, Get, prepare your beef. Okay, so what I want to do, this is lean beef, it's 5%, but I just want to trim it. Because it's, if, you, if you look, they're all fairly, fairly long strands. So what I want to do is to just trim that. In there, I'll do, just slice it up. Just to make it a bit leaner. Okay, so then what you need to do now <coughs> is get a little mixing bowl, tip in your minced beef, like that. Okay, and then just break it up so everything can get mixed in nicely. So just keep breaking it up like that. Okay. And then tip in your ingredients. So, what I want to do is I'm going to tip in two teaspoons of mixed herbs. Sprinkle it all over, make sure it's all mixed in well. Okay, that's one. So that's two tablespoons of mixed herbs got in there. Sorry, two teaspoons. And I want to tip in two teaspoons of garlic. Again, sprinkle it all in well. It's all nicely mixed. That's two teaspoons of garlic. And I just want to tip in one teaspoon of salt. Okay, one teaspoon of salt. And I want to tip in a really good helping of black pepper. Oh, 
Don't you got all that done? I just want to give all that a mixing in. Just get it all mixed in so it's still all full of all spices are all mixed in evenly. So I'll just give that a good mix in. Okay, so that's the first stage done. Right now, what we're gonna do next is adding this. This is the secret ingredient. Onion paste. The only place I could get that from was online. Couldn't get it from any of the shops. Onion paste. If you, if you can't get hold of it, just mince an onion, okay? And what you want to do, is you want to tip that into there. Just look at that. This is what gives it the taste and the flavour. Onion paste. Beautiful. Okay? Tip that in there. Give it mincing, give it a good mixing up. And the next ingredient to go in is the breadcrumbs and the egg mix. Tip that in there. And now comes the messy bit. Getting it all mixed in. You've all got to mix it well in, everything's got to be mixed in because it's a really, really good mixing. Okay, from the start of the spoon, then I'll just take over with my hands. Time to take over with the hands. So, keep turning that. Good luck. I'm going to mix everything in, squeeze it in between your fingers, like that, so all everything gets mixed in either way. Okay. Smell that, you smell it. Beautiful. Beautiful. And you see now it's starting to hold together. That's what we're looking for. So just keep make sure everything's all mixed in evenly. Just keep squashing it, switching it between your fingers. Okay, I'm happy with that now. So the next bit is, on this baking tray, I've cut a piece of paper, uh, baking paper. So I'm going to sit my meatball onto that and I'm going to shape it. Okay, so slap it on there like that. And then all you do is you shape it. Okay, yeah. patting it down, shaping it. That's all for you to get a nice bit out. And that. I'm happy with. Okay, so that's that's the meatloaf shaped. So what you want to do now is glaze it with the glaze that you made earlier on. So let's get that back out of the fridge. Okay, so all I'm going to do is to get my glaze, and I'm just going to pour it over the top of the meatloaf. Just run it round. You want it to run over the edges, all over the top and all over the edges. Okay? Run it all over the edge. Like that. A bit more. And that. Is now ready to go into the oven. Electric 200, fan 180, about 55 to 60 minutes. Gas mark 6. Okay. So let's get that popped into the oven. Middle shelf. 
And in the meantime, I've got all my veg ready. Like I said, I've got red cabbage, I've got uh, roast potatoes. They're gonna, I'm gonna boil them for about, from cold, let it, get, get, let it start to boil. Boil them for about 10 to 12 minutes, drain them out. In the meantime, I'll have a, a roasting tray in the top of them uh, with, with the oil boiling hot, ready to go. Tip them in, bang them in the oven, they'll be ready. Carrots I've got with sweet, chopped, diced sweet. Um, I'm going to boil them from cold for about 35 to 40 minutes. Get them really soft and easy, easy to mash. Done some um, garlic butter in there with some black pepper, mash them up. I've got my um, <coughs> Yorkshire pudding tray ready to, to make the Yorkshire puddings. So all I need to do now is get everything switched on, get the Yorkshire puddings in and, and roast buds. And once everything's ready, dish it all out so I shall. See you in a bit. And there you have my tomato glazed meatloaf. All I need to do now, everything else is on its way. Just look at that. Just look at that. Oh. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. You've got to try this. Mmm. Mmm. Beautiful. So all I need to do now is get everything dished out, get stuck in and enjoy it. So I'll show dish out and see you in a few minutes time. So all it remains for me to do now is to get stuck in. And that. Is one nice meal. See you next time.